Hi everyone, design of bridges. Discussing here the design of an abutment. In the previous sessions, discuss the design of an abutment. Step one, step two, step three calculated, and then step four, earth pressure calculation. The total earth pressure calculated as eighty nine point seven kilonewton, and the vertical component and horizontal component of earth pressure calculated. The resultant calculated as nine ninety one point six five. Next, move on to the stability analysis of abutment. Check for or check against overturning. Okay. This is the check. First one, check against overturning. Actually, an abutment must be safe against overturning, sliding, and maximum base pressure. First one is check against overturning. I'll show the figure. This is an abutment. Okay, and the earth pressure here. Okay, the earth pressure. Assume that the earth pressure is act at a height of four point two zero point four two hertz from base. Okay, and this is the total uh, earth pressure sigma W, and this is the horizontal, and this is vertical component of earth pressure. Okay. Uh, the earth pressure is assumed to act at a height of zero point four two hertz from the base of the abutment. Zero point four two hertz from the base of the abutment. That is zero point four two into hertz. Here it is five meter. Then two point one meter. Okay. Then the overturning moment. That is moment due to overturning. Overturning moment equal to uh, that force. The horizontal force into uh, perpendicular distance. Here, the horizontal force, the horizontal component of earth pressure into its perpendicular distance. That is two point one. Okay, two point one into seventy six point five. The answer is one sixty one kilo newton meter. It's a moment overturning moment. Then a restoring moment. A restoring moment. This is the abutment. Okay, draw another figure. It is given in the question. This is the abutment details: one point two, one point four, and again one point two. And here it is point six, point eight. Okay. And it and and we divided it into one, two, three, four. Okay. First one, it's a triangle, and a total vertical load. Total load. It is. Calculated as nine forty two point seven eight kilonewton. The first one is triangle, that is half into one point two into five into density of concrete. It is twenty four into its perpendicular distance because a restoring moment load into perpendicular distance. It is x one, that is one point four plus one point two into h by three. It is three plus second one is rectangular portion point six into Five into uh, concrete twenty four into its distance. It is x two. That is one point two plus point eight plus half point six by two. That is two point three plus next again in rectangle zero point eight into 
three point to its height. Uh, R L there the difference hundred and one or three point two. Then into perpendicular distance it is one point two plus half half of zero point eight. That is one point six. Again it's a triangle. Half into one point two into five into twenty four into its distance to H by three. It is zero point eight. Two H by three plus vertical load. Uh, that that means the total uh, load that is nine forty two point seven eight into its perpendicular distance is one point two plus zero point eight by two. Okay, it is then the total is two zero. Then the total is two zero two five point two one kilo newton meter. Okay, total restoring moment is two zero two five point two one kilo newton meter. Okay, then comes to the factor of safety against overturning moment. Factor of safety against overturning moment equal to Restoring moment divided by overturning moment. That is moment due to overturning effect, and it is twelve point five, and it is it is greater than two. Then safe against over. Next is check against sliding. Factor of safety against sliding is given by. Resisting force divided by sliding force. That is, factor of safety is equal to point six into summation W divided by summation H. That is zero point six into summation W. We calculated it as nine forty two point seven eight divided by horizontal. It is seventy six point five, and the answer is six point one six. It is greater than two. That is, the abutment is safe against the sliding. That is, the factor of safety against sliding should not be less than two. And this, the check against sliding and overturning in a section, maximum and minimum base pressure. For more references, refer these textbooks of design of bridge structures. Thank you.